Hi, this is Adam from CDL College in Commerce City, Colorado, and today we're going to discuss the parallel parking maneuver. The vehicle length is about 70 feet and the box that the student is going to park in is 15 feet longer. So the box is 85 feet long and 12 feet wide. The driver begins by pulling forward far enough for the back of the vehicle to be past the front line of cones. Three to five feet works well. The driver stops there. Now, since the lane that he's backing into is on his right, he will turn the wheel hard left to force the trailer to the right and begin backing. The driver will stop backing up when he sees the right front corner of the trailer directly above the right frame rail of the truck, about a 45 degree angle. The driver then cranks the wheel hard right and continues backing until the vehicle is straight, meaning the truck is directly in front of the trailer. The back of the vehicle is now aimed at the parallel park lane. From the driver's perspective, he wants to see three cones on the back row. As long as he backs up with the driver's side of his vehicle somewhere between two and a half to three cones, he should be in good shape. Please note that there is no cone at two and a half. The driver then centers his steer tires and begins straight backing at this angle, keeping the driver's side on two and a half to three cones. As soon as the trailer tandems split the driver's side boundary line, the driver stops. At this point, the driver needs to force the rear of his trailer to the left, so he steers hard right. As he backs up, he's looking at his landing gear in the driver's side mirror. When he sees three quarters of his landing gear, he stops. He can also look for the left front corner of the trailer to be above the left truck frame rail. The last turn is a hard left, which completes the maneuver. Broken down, this maneuver consists of a pull forward, two turns, a straight back, and two more turns. That's it! Let's review the maneuver from overhead. The driver starts off next to the box and pulls forward until the rear of the trailer is three to five feet in front of the front line of cones. Then he cranks the wheel hard left to force the rear of his trailer to the right. He backs up until the front corner of the trailer is above the truck frame rail and then stops. Steering hard right pushes the truck back in front of the trailer and the driver stops when the vehicle is straight or squared up. He should see cone number three in his driver's side mirror. If he doesn't, he could either pull forward or back up to put his vehicle on three. Anywhere between two and a half cones and three works just fine. The driver then straight backs at an angle until the trailer tandem split the outside boundary line. The driver stops here and then cranks the wheel hard right to force the rear of his trailer left and continues backing. He stops when he sees three quarters of the landing gear in his driver's side mirror. He can also look for the left corner of the trailer to be above the left frame rail of the truck. One more hard turn left will put the truck and the trailer in the box. The driver's side parallel has different reference points. Let's take an overhead look. The initial pull forward is the same. The driver needs to clear the front line of cones with the rear of the vehicle. Then, to force his trailer to the left, he steers hard right and backs up until the left front corner of the trailer is above the frame rail of the truck. Next, he cranks the steering wheel hard left and backs up until the truck is directly in front of the trailer, and then he stops. After centering his steer tires, he checks his driver's side mirror. As long as the driver's side of the vehicle is aimed between cones 8 and 9 of the side cones, he'll be in good shape. If he's not on 8 and 9, he can either pull forward to fix his position or fix it on his way back towards the box. Notice that the rear cones cannot be seen in the driver's side mirror. That's why the reference point is on the side cones. The driver backs up on 8 and 9 and stops. When his outside trailer tandem split the outside boundary line, don't forget to check the passenger mirror as you near the box. That's where your outside tandems can be seen. The rear of the trailer needs to move to the right, so the student cranks the steering wheel hard left. He backs up until he sees the right front corner of the trailer above the right truck frame rail. Steering hard right moves the truck back in front of the trailer and finishes the maneuver. You may pull forward two times during the parallel parking maneuver with no penalty. You may also set your brakes and exit the vehicle two times with no penalty.
When you exit the vehicle, do so in the correct way with three points of contact. You can be failed for exiting a truck the wrong way. Additional pull forwards will cost you a point. Remember, when you want to force your trailer to move one way or the other, steer in the opposite direction. If you get in trouble during this maneuver, stop and ask yourself, which way does my trailer have to go? If it's to the right, steer to the left. If it's to the left, steer to the right. Small turns move the trailer a little bit, and big turns move the trailer a lot. We sure hope this video helped you. If so, leave a comment below. Stay safe out there.